Virgo, what is up? It's your girl Raven, aka Triple P. And how are you doing this evening? I'm doing spectacular. So is my dog Odin. We're just chilling. You know, it's a nice, it's, well, it's been a nice day. Now it's nighttime. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys have had a nice day as well. Okay. So, um, just to give you a little background on what I'm going to do here. Uh, this reading will be for the sign of Virgo. Um, you may not be a Virgo. You could just have it somewhere in your chart. So therefore, it could still resonate for you. I just ask that you take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay. All right. So oh, one more thing before I get started. Thank you. I want to say thank you for all the love and support that you're showing my channel. All the thumbs it up, all the subscribing, sharing the videos, telling me your stories. Just all the love and support. I am extremely grateful. God bless you guys. Okay. All right. So Virgo, let's see what's going on. All right. Holy Spirit, please tune me into the frequency of Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know right now? Okay, Virgo. Hmm. Okay, let's see what this is. 420. Okay, I know that's like the weed smoker number, so it could be dealing with weed smoker, but really this is an angel number as well. The angel number 420 is fresh starts moving forward with an open mind. Okay, so somebody could be moving forward here with an open mind or spirit is just asking you. You may be seeing 420 a lot. Spirit is saying move forward with an open mind. Okay. All right, let's see what else we got. Bribery. Someone could be bribing somebody. Paying someone to keep quiet or to do something. Let me set this over here. There we go. Because God says so. So if something's going down, it's because God wants it to. Okay. What else for Virgo? That is a lot. Let's see. Okay, someone wants to wine and dine you, Virgo. Ooh, or you want to wine and dine somebody? You could be dealing with a karmic kin energy, <laughs> a karmic masculine energy here. Someone here who's um, maybe narcissistic, um, like, you know, someone that needs to heal, has healing to do. Going, that's someone here who's learning a karmic lesson. Let me see if I can get, see, one more. What's one more for Virgo? Okay. Spirit wants you to know that someone may have fallen on their own sword. Fell on their own sword. Someone may have fallen on their own sword here. Leave this one out. And put this back. Okay. Someone also is saying, please wait for me. I won't take long. I'm wrapping things up for us, Virgo. So someone Wow. And then, okay, I got to show you. For your love, <laughs> underneath for that. So, Virgo, this is definitely, I mean, no, the reading is what it is, but I really believe this has a lot to do with love, someone that you're with or whatnot. But there's also a lot of um, other things going on here. We got Odin's rune, so Willow, which means sun is victory, guidance, um, wholeness, mastery. So, it's, it's um, similar to the sun card in tarot, which means like joy, optimism, things being revealed, enlightenment your inner child, like things like that. I feel like this karmic kid energy may, may have fallen on their own sword, which means they, you know, were trying to do something to hurt you and end up hurting themselves instead. <laughs> your angels and ancestors are protecting you, Virgo. It's time to go now, or it was time to go, or it has been time to go for a while now. Maybe that's a thing, too. RP, rest in peace. Something is over, Virgo. I'm, I'm sure you know that, but like, or maybe you don't. Maybe someone else around you doesn't understand, but something is definitely over. Okay, so let me get some cards out. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, please tune me into the frequency of Virgo. 
Can you clarify for me this 420 angel number energy? Let me scoot these down. Okay. All right, what is this 420 energy? I like the way that slid out. Okay, so you you may um, not be aware of something that's going on blind, awkward, unknown vision problems. We have goal here, purpose, expectation, destination. Angel number 926 could be of significance here for this. So spirit is wanting for you to move forward with an open mind, okay? You got to have some sort of blind faith in order to get to your goal, your destination in life. You know, you may not know where you're going. You just have to have faith and trust in, you know, the path and your purpose here. Someone may be wanting to propose to somebody here. Someone here could just be wanting to get some sort of assurance or confirmation to somebody they really care about. Um, so Spirit could be saying that there is a fresh start, new beginning, and it's time for you to move forward with an open mind here. And you're going to receive confirmation here that everything's going to be okay with a soulmate connection or somebody that you're really, really connected to. This could be twin flame. It doesn't have to be. It's just something significant here. Angel number 2850 could be of significance here. Okay, what's the um, bribery? Now, actually, you know what? Let me go down this way. What is the it's time to go or it was time to go? Okay, that's a whole lot. Okay, so you've gained knowledge that it's time to go. <laughs> Coach, obedience, knowledge, um, advice. So maybe you've gotten some sort of advice here and now you know, okay, it's time to go. What else? You may have been saving up so that you know so that you'd be ready when it was time to go. <laughs> Someone may have gained some sort of advice or gained some sort of knowledge here that maybe you were saving up or you know, maybe holding back, maybe holding this back. Someone's wishing, hoping, <laughs> worship, vow. What else? What it was time to go. You've been enlightened about this with the blessing card here. That's fulfillment, well-being, and enlightenment. So you've been enlightened here about your path and what you need to do to preserve yourself. And you probably went and sought sought out advice on which what you need, really needed to do and. You were giving the advice this time to leave, maybe. I'm going to get out some tarot to get this clarified. Okay, let me move forward here. What's this uh, RIP energy? Damn. Okay, so there's going to be some sort of ending. Maybe even an... Uh, I'm not going to say that, but you know where I'm going. Okay, Virgo. We have mask. We have ominousness. <laughs> mask is deception, pretending, inconstancy. Ominousness is cautiousness, sign of it, or insidious. So you may be, uh, you may have um, discovered that somebody was wearing a mask deceiving you, and you may have cut things off with them. You may have seen signs from them, like there's like some kind of weird something funny about them. You know, you, you're seeing signs that something just ain't right. You know, I mean, pictures may even started breaking at home. It's a family portrait that's broken, so this could be a broken family. Somebody was bullying the connection here, embarrassment, gossip, unwillingness. Somebody was unwilling to change here. So someone was wearing a mask and they were causing issues here. What else? Someone may have broken a connection by making fun of you or something. Yeah, someone's going to be left behind. Disappointed, isolate, disappointment, isolation, dullness, loneliness here. Okay, let me move on here. So you're moving, Virgo, what I'm getting here is that you're moving on into a new beginning after enduring a lot of bullying you know like you went through a lot of things and you felt isolated and alone and so now you're moving on here that's what i'm getting here you you're you've been enlightened to your to your spiritual gift to your path you've been wishing you've been vowing you've been wishing you've probably been praying you know for things to change and now it's your time to go what's this bribery somebody really desires to keep you stuck so they're going to bribe you to do that Okay, a commitment reservation. Commitment is binding obstruction um, contract and reservation is desire worth extravagance. 
Somebody really, really wants to keep you around, but they want to keep you around and keep you stuck. Angel number 2934 could be of significance here. So could uh, 6831 or 8268 or 2482. Okay, so someone here could be bribing you with a car or bribing you with something, with something here that's meant to keep you stuck here. What's the bribery? Okay, that's a whole lot. They know that you're going to reject it or that you're rejecting them, maybe, and they want to bribe you. What else is bribery? Someone is stressed out over something, an excess obligation or overwhelm. This is someone who is stressing you out. They want to keep you trapped in a commitment. They want to overwhelm you. Yeah, by causing conflict. Someone here wants to bribe you into staying with them or something. And maybe you're not going to accept this bribery. And when you reject it, they're going to try to stress you out and like really cause a lot of conflict here. Because they know that you're going to break up with them. Okay, let me look up what God says. So what's because God says so? Okay, something to do with family or family bond or family background here. We got bond, home, back, background. What else? Ooh. Okay, God says you deserve mercy. You deserve charity. You deserve kindness. You know, you deserve um, charity. So you deserve help with your family, maybe. You're the, you are... Hold on, with alliance here and gift. What's this because God says so? Ooh. Evidence, detection, investigation, proof. What's the evidence? <sighs> right. Someone's performing rites, ceremony, mystery, magic. This could be a divine intervention card. Someone in your family might have gotten investigated for trying to hex or curse somebody. Or you had a, maybe somebody looked into somebody in the family and realized that they didn't need help. They just were helping themselves to a dose of magic in the form of cursing you. Distrustful energy, third will, third party situation here. Enemy, distrust, flirtatiousness. So someone you have a family bond or a home background with that you may give a lot of mercy or charity or kindness to or somebody that you've been helping that you see as family, there's been some sort of investigation going on. Like someone's looking into something and they found some sort of proof here that some sort of third wheel, third party situation, third somebody, this third party was hexing or cursing you. Or if they were not, they were somehow doing something ill against you. Okay? What's this wine and dine? It always comes out. Um, okay, someone wants to start over with you. Okay, origin is like plant new seeds. Initiation, creativity, vitality. Somebody here wants to take you out and they want to start over. So what may have happened here is when this person did this investigation, it's going to be you or your person, and they realized that somebody was in the background doing some kind of magic buffuckery, you know what I'm saying? They decided they were wrong and maybe they want to come by and apologize or maybe they just want to wind and dine and just really nurture this connection here. Somebody wants to grow a connection with you. What else with wine and dine? Yeah, uh, stability, harmony, acceptance, okay. And then we got idea, inspiration, suggestion, vision. You inspire somebody. Angel number 2265 or 6541 could be of significance here. Someone here wants to plant new seeds of stability and harmony with you. They're inspired by you. They have a vision with you. You may share the same vision with them. You're both good people here, okay. You're spiritual leaders. You're light workers, earth angels, spiritual warriors. What's the, okay, let me move on because I'm going to get into some tarot and, you know, make sure we get like a, you know, a more clear picture here. Okay, let me see who this karmic kin is who fell on their own sword. You're going to receive, 
Now, I know this says good news, but it could also mean encouragement, a miracle, or a surprise, just like kind of page of wands energy. Now, you're going to receive some sort of surprising news that someone that is in karmic masculine energy has fallen on their own sword. What else? Maybe this is someone you were indecisive about, confused about, or worried about, and you were maybe paranoid or depressed or afraid of or something. Like this is some this is this energy is somebody that you may have wondered about, wondered if they were doing something and just really was just kind of paranoid about it, maybe. So you're gonna receive some sort of message here that's gonna maybe confuse or worry you, and it may trigger you here. What's uh Going on sword. Compromise. Okay, someone that wants to compromise with you. Agreement, reconciliation, consideration. Someone here is going to receive some sort of surprising news that to where they know they're going to have to make a decision. A decision that they are really, really, they are really stressed out and in their head about in order to, to compromise with you. So this is someone here that may have left you or 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 did some I don't want to say like did something evil to you, but this is somebody who kind of they've learned a lesson here. <laughs> Virgo, you or someone here has definitely learned a lesson here about this karmic energy here who didn't want to listen and they've fallen on their own sword. What's this compromise? Self-love, self-healing, independence, self-concern. Someone here wants to compromise with you because you are a healer, a healing energy. You love yourself. You're independent. So someone wants to come running back to you after they've hurt themselves over maybe you know some some sort of some sort of karmic situation happened and you may have tried to warn this person about it or something virgo or they just didn't listen or there's something here that really made your person or made someone really be some something put something somebody in their head and they and they and they confused them about who you were or something like that um let me move on what is so willow odin's rune the sun Collaboration, okay, that's a uh, backup, unity, enhancement. So, the Sawillo room is about victory, guidance, mastery, wholeness, or the seat of the soul. Um, there could be some sort of victory or some sort of guidance or mastery when it comes to working with on your on a project or something. You're working with someone. You, be, you could be starting a business, your own business or something like that. Um, but there's about to be some sort of victory here, or there's going to be something illuminated, something positive that's going to happen with a group of people, maybe. What else? Somebody wants to work with you to build something, learn something. Somebody wants to strategize with you. Somebody that you can trust. Somebody that you trust or they trust you. Someone that you see as um, honest, planning, predicting, mind reading with strategy here. So someone here wants to come i mean somebody here wants to work with work with you to build something here to strategize something what else okay we have marionette um dictatorship domination reluctance somebody may have been reluctant before what's marionette now they want victory someone here may have felt dominated by someone they trusted or they were reluctant because they were controlled by someone they trusted. I mean, that they trusted. And now they want a victory. They're going to get victory. Success, victory, achievement. Okay, let me see what your angel, I'm saying your angels and ancestors are protecting you. Let me see what that's about. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is your angels and ancestors are protecting you? Oh, that's a lot. Okay, you may be stressed out, stuff feeling like you're suffering in a nightmare and darkness or persecuted here. And a lot of stress, like I said, stressed out. Spirit is saying it's time for you to take a break. Time for you to pause, okay? Or you may be stuck one way or the other. 
What else? You may have separated yourself from your online community, your friends or something like that. What's your angel of answers are protecting you? So you're being protected from suffering, from darkness, from persecution, from headache, from pressure, from lack of sleep, from being stuck. You are being protected. You're being protected in your new connection too. You may be getting married or someone's married here or someone's in a couple. But Spirit is saying that, you, that this is a protected connection. So you might have been... So if you've been suffering... Or really stressing yourself out, like having trouble sleeping at night. Spirit is saying to stop. It's like, Spirit's like, stop. Like, what you doing all that for? Stop. Pause for a minute. You have sweet love coming. You are sweet love. Yeah, you have many talents here. Profession, expertise, omnipotence, omniscience, and talent. Somebody here, you might have been stressing out about somebody maybe giving you an apology or some sort of confession. Maybe you want to confess to someone. Someone wants to confess to you. Your angels and ancestors are protecting you and they're helping you to lovingly confess this truth. Okay, Virgo? You may be planning or organizing this. Okay, let me get to some tarot. Okay. Actually, I'm going to use these, Virgo. Okay, Holy Spirit, please tune me into the frequency of Virgo. Can you please clarify for me this situation that's going on? Angel number 420 again means keeping an open mind, like fresh starts and moving forward with an open mind. So just keep that in mind, Virgo, okay? Fresh starts are definitely here. Someone from the past could be trying to rope you back into an old pattern or behavior by bribing you. Spirit is just saying, watch out for that. But also, there's someone here that wants to wine and dine you. They want to they wanna be with you. They, this is genuine. I don't see nothing deceitful about that. Okay. Holy Spirit, what do we need to know? There we go. Okay, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. That's undervalued, overworked, or just not working with your goals with enough conviction. Um, someone here could be can be feeling someone here can feel undervalued. What's this Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Someone here feels undervalued and they're ready to move on. Six of Swords energy. That's um embarking on a healing journey moving on to calmer peaceful more peaceful waters so you may have been working hard on something and really didn't get the results you were hoping for virgo this could be in a relationship this could be in a job and so now you're just like you know what i'm just ready to cut my losses i'd rather just move on and heal onto something else i'd rather just go with the flow you're trying to balance things here what's the six of swords you might have really feel undervalued in a connection here and you moved away Ace of Pentacles, a manifestation, a new opportunity, a new venture. Hmm. You may have a decision to make for this Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Swords here. What's the Ace of Pentacles? So, where you are currently working at or the relationship you are currently in, you felt like you put in a lot of work and you got very little appreciation. So you decided to go on a journey to heal yourself. It doesn't have to be an actual journey, although it could be. But you decided to heal yourself here. And when you did that, Spirit, the universe, God, whoever you subscribe to, decided to give you your inheritance, your divine inheritance, your gift. You're manifesting something here. And it is here now. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles in, okay. Oh. Nine of Pentacles stayed at the bottom of the deck, which is actually pretty good. Um, that is enjoying the fruits of your labor, you know, being idolized, you're looking good, you're looking sexy, everybody's peeping you, like you doing really work hard, and now you're like really living it up. And also, we got the Knight of Cups with the lovers. Huh. Okay. Now, Nine of Cups is Scorpio energy, I believe. Lovers is definitely Gemini. So, you may have been in a, at an unhealthy job, contract, relationship. It, it doesn't have to be romance. It could be business related. It could be job related. It could be 
some sort of contract or something you were in with somebody it could be a karmic contract you were in with this in this relationship with this man or this woman this may have been a spouse or something like that whatever it was you worked your tail off to try to make it work and it didn't work out so you decided to move on because you decided to see what was out there and also you knew intuitively that there were bigger opportunities for you out there as far as love business business money you name it and now that you've done that Someone here wants to offer you a really committed, equal give and take, divine connection here. The lovers is about like um, interpersonal relationships, connections, um, balancing your masculine, your feminine energy, divine love. Someone here can want to propose or offer something to you. This could, someone could want to propose marriage. Or someone might just want to just come out and tell you how they feel about you. And that they really just want to be with you. But one thing I noticed is, okay, you know how this Knight of, you see how this Knight of Cups is like looking? Okay, on this lover's card, <laughs> there's the couple here, but then we have this energy here, this, um, supposed to be an angel, but she looks pissed. <laughs> so this could be someone running away from a third party situation and coming to you. They could be leaving, they could be moving on from a relationship that was not working out, okay? And now they're moving forward to come to you and they're leaving this in the past. But this could also be an ex, uh, like an ex energy who's kind of pissed off that you're offering this to someone or that someone's offering this to you. So when someone offers you this cup of love, whether it's proposal, marriage, or just I love you, I'm in love with you, whatever, I want to commit a relationship. There's going to be someone in the background that is going to be pissed because they feel like they're entitled and that they should have this. What else for Virgo? Yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse, Libra energy. Queen of Swords in reverse, she's a bitch. She's bitchy, emotional. She rules with emotion, without no logic. Um, scattered, liar, like just yelling, screaming. Like she just void. I mean, yeah. So, it looks as though someone here is going to be pissed and they're going to be bitchy at you. They're going to be very emotional, Virgo. What's this Queen of Swords in reverse? Somebody here doesn't want to let you go at all. Someone here, Eight of Cups reverse is like trying one more time, like refusing to leave, like refusing to move on. Um, Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, it could talk about hesitant energy, but it could also talk about somebody trying to keep you stuck or trying to make you be reckless or something like that this queen of swords in reverse does not want to let you go and at the same time they don't have any drive or passion to move on from you they have no intentions on moving on they they want to keep going here with you and this is why they're pissed off that you're moving on with somebody else Virgo. what else yeah chariot you're moving you're moving on chariot that's overcoming challenges um and during things like you know like you're powering through you're moving on here that's cancer energy this person doesn't want you to move forward but you're moving forward anyway yeah someone here is trying to avoid a tower or they're they're getting they're decreeing their own towers with the tower in reverse and the five of swords conflict tower is like sudden revelation uh shock discover excuse me discovery chaos tower in reverse though could be like someone trying to avoid a tower or someone nearly missing a tower someone trying to avoid a tower but it's inevitable it's going to happen anyway so this queen of swords this queen of swords in reverse energy here is highly upset that you're moving on virgo they do not want you to leave they're not motivated to do anything with themselves though which is why you're moving forward you know, this new connection that you're moving into with the lovers could be something equal give and take. It could This person could be into the same things that you're into. It's equally balanced here. This relationship that you may be moving on from, you and this person may have started off this way, but now you guys aren't seeing eye to eye anymore and you don't share the similar, same similar qualities, you know? Sometimes people grow apart. You know, I understand it's, it's kind of hurtful. Um, me and my husband, you know, we separated before he passed away and, you know, that was very hard for me. So I understand, you know, and um we were together for a very very long time kids and everything so i understand what it's like you know you start off strong but over time you know i guess as you grow up and you start to discover who you are and what you want to do in life and 
then you realize, okay, your partner doesn't share the same vision, you know, and you don't want to leave behind, but sometimes, you know, you got to do what's best for you and what's best for your path, you know, and it's not an abandoned, it's not as though you're abandoning them. And I know as though, I know this person may feel that way because quite often we do. Queen of Swords in reverse, she could feel abandoned when she's not paid attention to, which is why she could be bitchy. Somebody's feeling bitchy because they feel like they're being left behind. What's this tower reverse? Someone here wants to cause conflict to try to keep you stuck, to kind of keep you confused or just, you know, like stressed out to where you don't, you can't make a move or something. What's the tower reverse? Yeah, their wish fulfillment. Oh, wow. This may be unknown to you with the moon here. The moon is like dreams, subconscious fears, secrets, things that are unknown that you can't see. This person's wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups, that's like wish fulfillment, being happy, all that, would be for to see you repeat the same cycle with them over and over and over again, Virgo. That's the world card in the reverse. That's like repeating cycles, not learning lessons. Somebody, this is, uh, this, this, somebody here, um, someone, of, someone here is holding back or just really keep it, Pisces energy with the moon, by the way. Somebody here they're really holding things in about what they really want. But it's not as though it's like they, they're afraid to let you know. It's just that they don't want you to know that their wish fulfillment is just to just keep the same thing going over and over again. They don't want to move forward. That's weird. Okay. What else for uh, Virgo? Hey, make it up. High Priestess in reverse. This is somebody who holds secrets, hidden agenda, Blocked intuition. Uh, Six of Cups. This is somebody you may have kids with. Somebody in your past. Emperor Reverse. Somebody who sits in their ego. Bully. A tyrant. A despot. Somebody who brings sadness here with the Five of Cups. Three of Swords. More sadness. How much more sadness do we need? Jeez. Okay. Hold on, Virgo. What's this High Priestess in Reverse? She has a hidden agenda when she's reversed. A High Priestess. So someone's a hidden agenda here is to make you repeat the same thing over and over again. Death. You're bringing an ending to this. You're finding the strength, the courage, the wisdom, the power here to bring an ending, to transform out of this. This could also speak that her hidden agenda is to bring endings to your strength, your willpower here. To destroy your creativity. Empress in reverse. To make you like dependent and needy and a uh, victim and oh, what was me? I can't get nothing done. Someone here wants to bring you bad news. What else? Someone here wants you to be confused and indecisive and not knowing which way to go when opportunities come in for you with the three of wands. That's your ships coming in after you've made your plans and your opportunities are coming in. And two of swords talks about decision, you know, like, I mean, indecision, being confused a little bit, maybe not knowing what to do. Definitely. Somebody here definitely wanted you to be confused as far as what you should do when it comes to a queen of wands energy here that you want to move towards with the eight of wands here. Damn, the king of wands is right here. Oh, shit. Hold on. I just got chills. Hold up. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold. Let me see. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Okay. Somebody wants to come towards this Queen of Wands energy, which is someone. This could be you or take out resonates here. Queen of Wands. She's sexy, focused, joyful. Um, creative, you know, outgoing, social butterfly, everybody loves her, everybody knows her, you know, she gets things done, she's independent, okay, somebody wants to travel fast, and let me say this too, the eight of wands also means, you know, some sexual behavior, <laughs> so this is, this is somebody who may have a lot of suitors, okay, or somebody really wants to come by fast and do some things to you, we got the king of wands here to confirm what I just said, okay, this King of Wands here, but let me say this. Okay, you see how he's got a fire burning in the background? He's pissed, okay? This King of Wands is pissed because somebody broke up a connection or they broke up with somebody and they felt like it was unfair. We got the Two of Cups in the reverse and the Justice in reverse, which is a Libra card. Two of Cups in reverse is a broken relationship, 
um something that's not equal give and take one-sided justice reverse is like something unfair just happened something that wasn't truthful something not honest something unbalanced some like karmic justice like karma is going to come through so this king of wands wants to come to this queen's this queen of wands quickly here and he's pissed off because you guys may have been together before or on the road to being together but something unfair happened here that broke you two up okay virgo pretty much that's what that is let me get some um takeaway advice for you get some angel cards holy spirit please tune me into the frequency of virgo what's the takeaway advice here what is it virgo Spirit says uh, throat chakra, which is the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. You may be having issues speaking your truth. You know, you may be afraid or fearful. Call on your spirit team, your angels to help you, okay? They can't act unless you tell them to. I mean, they can, but it's more a free will situation. They have respect for free will. The angels have respect for free will, so it's important to ask, to, to ask them to help you. This got something to do with your third eye chakra, too. It is safe for you to see the energy of love in all its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. So, your third eye could be opening, you know, it could be blocked or something like that. But Spirit is saying that it is safe for you to see the energy of love that is, in, I mean, in all of its forms. You know, angels, auras, visions, people around you. Trust your third eye chakra. What else? Okay, we'll do these two. Alright, so we've got Heal Away Addictions. It is time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. So Spirit is telling you to call on Archangel Raphael to heal away any addictions that are hurting you. Whether it's drug addiction, sex addiction, or just anything you're doing too much of. That you're having, I mean, something that you're struggling with. Call on your Archangels. And then the last one is listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So you are receiving messages. You probably think you're crazy or probably think, oh, this is a coincidence. No, these are real messages from the divine. Spirit is telling you to listen to them, to trust them. Your body is receiving accurate, accurate messages from the divine. It's not anything that you should question, okay? All right, so Virgo, I'm going to conclude your reading there. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed it because I enjoyed reading for you. That was really kind of cool. So please thumbs it up for your girl, okay? Thank you again for all the love and support that you guys are showing the channel. I'm going to catch you in the next video, okay, Virgo? Bye.